Hello friends, once again, this is Pranesh Kumar Misra before you. Today, I have brought for you CBSC class 9, the first chapter, How I Taught My Grandmother to Read. I repeat, How I Taught My Grandmother to Read. Friends, this is written by Sudha Murthy. Sudha Murthy. Sudha Murthy is a prolific writer in Canada. She has written seven novels and other books also. Her novel Wise and Otherwise has been translated in 13 Indian languages. So you can imagine how famous she is. And her subject is very common subjects that is charity, kindness and self-respect, self-realization. Self-realization is the main or chief topic she has been selecting while writing. Her protagonist, chief character, is always a lady full of principles, full of dignity, you can say. The present story, how I taught my grandmother to teach. When writer was just 12 years old and grandmother, 62 years old lady, you can imagine the age just after 60. It so happens happen that in opening lines, you will find that a village like area is there and there a weekly magazine called Karmvir, Karmvir is coming to the house of the writer Sudhamurti. There is an episodic story called Kasi Yatra. In Kasi Yatra, which is an episodic story, um, like serial, one episode and then another episode, like a complete novel, chapter wise, was coming printed in Karmvir magazine which was weekly. Since grandmother of Sudha Murthy or the writer or the narrator is not literate, so Sudha Murthy was reading that story, episodic story for her grandmother. The granddaughter is reading for grandmother and why is she taking interest in the story is that she was also keen to go, go to Kasi. We all know that the Hindus, they believe that going on pilgrimage to Kasi is a great work of Punya, good deed, worshipping their Vishnu and other gods, it is believed that this is the way to get emancipation from this treasury life. Just believed in Hinduism. So that was the reason why grandmother took interest in the story because the story was related to going to Kasi. One more important thing will be asked from this chapter was that one orphan girl was shown in the story, that episodic story written by Triveni, one of the famous writer of that time as the narrator is saying. That an orphan girl for whom money was being collected for the dowry and other arrangement of the marriage looking the keen desire of the old lady or 
grandmother narrated in Kasi Yatre that orphan girl spent that money and sent the old lady for Kasi Yatra. This was also the reason why grandmother of the writer was taking interest in the story, in the development of the story. But since the story was coming weekly, she had to wait for the next clue, next development. Meanwhile, <coughs> you find in the story that writer Sudha Murthy with cousins goes to some another village in any marriage. And for that reason, when she went there, she was indulged in fun. You know that in olden days or even today, marriage where lots of children are there is the center of fun making. Sudhamurti was engrossed in fun making and she spent there the whole week. Meanwhile, the magazine Karmvira arrives there. Grandmother wanted to know the next development in the story. But only that day she realized that she was dependent on someone, on granddaughter. That made her sad. She was a lady of dignity. She was the lady of determination. See took care of the family in a very, very grand way, successful way. Everywhere she was successful. Once she felt defeated when she could not read the text. Your question is, why doesn't she take it to the villagers to read it? That was also the matter of dignity. As I told you that Sudha Murthy always bring a lady of principles as a protagonist in her story. So being the lady of principle, she did not consider it right to get the text read by any other person. She kept waiting for her granddaughter when Sudha Murthy returns. Then one starry night in summer, grandmother was looking very sad and even started weeping. On being asked by the writer Sudha Murthy, she replied that I felt dependent on you. I couldn't read the story, you know. I wanted to know the development of the story, but I couldn't read it myself. That has brought tears in my eyes. I want to read it myself. I want to be independent, my child. Make me independent. Then granddaughter started giving her tuition. Alphabets starts. And imagine that 62 years old lady proved to be a very good learner. Very soon she learned the alphabets and began to join the letters and words. She promised that by coming the Shara and Saraswati Puja, I will prove that I am a good student before you. And who is the teacher? The granddaughter. Sudha Murthy, the granddaughter, started teaching and the title is also how I taught my grandmother to read, I repeat. So thus, Sudha Murthy taught her grandmother, granny, to teach and make her understand. On coming the Sahara, one side Sudha Murthy purchased a novel that was Kasi Yatre. By that time, the whole episode collectively was published as a novel. She kept it for the gift. On other side, frock materials were brought to gift her guru by 
the grandmother. Grandmother purchased some gift also for her teacher, her own granddaughter. On the Sara day, writer was called and was made to sit on a stool. She sits there. And grandmother, as a devotee, as a pupil, comes, touches the feet of Sudha Murti. On this, Sudha Murti images, but grandmother replies that you are my teacher and my guru. You have taught me how to read. You have made me independent. Your teaching has made me independent. So, saying this, she touches the feet of her granddaughter. And the granddaughter also, in reply, offered namaskar by touching the feet of grandmother. This is the end of the story. And the novel was gifted by granddaughter to grandmother. Once again I repeat, the title of the story is How I Taught My Grandmother to Read. So the whole narration what I have told you will help you understand that how a granddaughter taught her grandmother to read this is narrated in this story, my friends. I hope you might have understood the story. Once again, I recommend you to connect with the real text. This is the outline that I have given you. But you must go line by line because many good words, vocabs are hidden there in the story. Don't miss it. That is the main source of getting the words when you go through any story. By the way, this is the story. 